today we're going to do a video on sharpening. Uh, just basically run through uh, all your most common tools. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're going to do a bowl gouge first. Um, here's here's the jig I have. It's a one way, and you just set your arm at 23. You slide your tool in, and you slide it up to two inches, where you have two inches sticking out there. I put a mark on my thing. You can drill a hole down in, um, you know, in in the into block of wood or set a block back here. This actual um, is getting real close to the two inches, so it's about done. But I'll lock it down and just show you how it how it works. Then you put it into your pocket here and adjust this to get your angle that you want, and you roll it back and forth. Just like that. Set your tool in. And just roll back, back and forth. Bring it all the way around. There we go. It's just, just that easy. Put a nice bevel on it. Puts a, puts a nice bevel on it, and then the sec will uh, take it over on the other wheel and put a relief cut on the on the heel here, and I'll show you how to do that. All right. So and then I just move move the jig in a little bit and get the bevel right for a fingernail. Tighten it up. I just uh, this one's out of steel, um, but you can make these out of wood, and I will put a link in uh, in the description down below. Um, there's some really good videos on making jigs and different things. Um, um, actually, uh, Captain Eddie shows you how to make one of these for less than two bucks, I think. Um, but anyway, I'll put a link for that down there too. Then the fingernail, you just bring it in, to give it a little more, a uh, little more of an angle. I'll go ahead and do that one. And just do the same thing. Just roll it around. Just don't put a lot of pressure on it, especially when you're doing the center right there. Take away, just like that, and it's done. It's uh, you don't need to grind away on it. And then we'll do a relief cut. We'll do a relief cut on the back of that one too. We're gonna do a parting tool next, and I had uh, some buddy, buddy of mine at work made this for me. So uh, they come with. Come with a you know pretty small platform, so I wanted something. I have a have a big, pretty big scraper that I wanted to be able to use with this, so I had to make me this. So you just lay your bevel up there, hold it down flat, and tip it to where where it meets, just like that, and just tighten it down. <laughs> there just like that. You want to use the whole use the whole stone when you're doing it so that it wears evenly. Then we'll do a, a scraper. We're just going to go ahead and this off again and just lay it up there find our bevel and then lock it down All right, and then with the, the scraper just like that just hold it down flat on your tool rest We'll do the same thing. You just hold it down flat. I'll get the bevel real quick. Just the skew. Hold it down, down flat. Just like that.
with the and let's go ahead and on the, the bowl gouge here it's about about eaten up I mean about used it up but with the bowl gouge let's just go ahead and cut a couple little relief grinds on the back side here you just want the, the very edge to cut We'll do the same on the on the fingernail gap. All right. And I forgot one other. Uh, forgot the large bowl gap, so we'll do that, and we're going to use the other jig for that. Okay. So we're going to just put the handle of the tool into the pocket here, bring it back where we find the, find our bevel. Right there, and then we lock it down. Roll it back and forth. And you're done. That's it. Don't want to just eat away good metal. Um, Alright, and that's that's all there is to it. There's one other thing. These are uh, it's a diamond dressing stone. So you want to keep your uh, Keep your stones nice and flat. If, if they're flat, they're gonna gonna sharpen well. Um, so dress them up every once in a while. Um, you know, maybe after a couple of sharpens, or if you notice little grooves or anything in them, go ahead and use this and just uh, dress them up with that. But that's it. Um, there's not much not much to it. Uh, just a couple simple little jigs. And like I said before, I'll put a link to some other guys on YouTube that have made. Uh, showing you how to make the jigs and everything and um, just some great videos um, to help you out but these are the two little little jigs I use and uh, that's about it all right I hope that helped uh, those are the most common tools that I use um, and I forgot to mention that I do use a slow speed grinder so if you have one of those that that helps out quite a bit but thanks for watching